Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, I'm Michael Brown filling in for Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it is naturally supernatural. Baal worship in America, channeling spirits in the White House, celebrating immorality in the government. You, you think it's too late for our nation, too dark in our nation. But I'm telling you, we could be on the verge of the greatest outpouring in America's history. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm here with my friend, Jonathan Kahn. Jonathan, your book, The Harbinger, instant national bestseller, really impacted the nation, a warning of coming judgment. You have a new book, The Paradigm, which is even more explosive. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. Yeah, The Paradigm is uh, the, really the master blueprint. If you can imagine, if there, what if there was a blueprint about what's happening right now that goes back almost 3,000 years but lies behind everything that's happening? This is a biblical paradigm, and it's kind of like the other dimension of The Harbinger. The Harbinger is showing the signs of, of warning of judgment. Well, this is everything else. We are we are replaying an ancient mystery where we are right now, and it's amazing, and it is something. It's true. It's real, and it's there. Where is this paradigm found? Well, this is all right. You, you when you look in the Bible and you look at the, the what happened to ancient Israel. Israel knew God, but they turned away from God. They drove God out of their lives. They called evil good. They promoted immorality. They started lifting up their children as sacrifices to Baal, and they start descending. Well, we are replaying that. We America has known God. We've been replaying. We've been calling good evil. We've been promoting immorality. We've been lifting up our children. So as Israel did, we're, we're we are doing the same it, it, exactly. But here's the thing: it's not just a general thing. There's a specific period in Israel's history in the Bible, a specific period that the the apostasy accelerates. It deepens. Mm -hmm. Where the leaders actually are promoting it now, it's almost like a war of culture. Well, that period, that special period, that's where we are now. It's accelerated, and that is where the paradigm actually gets so specific. It gives details, it gives names, it gives dates, all that. That is the, that's the setting of the paradigm. Let's start, let's yeah. focus on yes. an individual, the yes. king yes. in this paradigm. Yeah, the, the culture war begins where, where in the Bible there is a king who rises up and he, he, uh, he is the first one who pioneers, he, he's like pushing Baal worship and the name is Ahab or Ahab in Hebrew, Ahab. And he rises up, now he's a divided man. He was actually, raised, his culture is about, supposed to be about God, but he wars, he's divided, he's compromised. He's, he's actually, he's actually weak-willed in many ways, but, but he, he launches this war. He's the first one to actually champion from the throne uh, Baal worship, which is the offering up of children. Now, now could, there be, could there be a parallel? Well, there is. There's a man who, is, who rises as president. He is Bill Clinton. He's going to follow the template of Ahab. He's a man who's divided. He's compromised. He actually came from the Bible Belt. Um, he, he has uh, weak, he's weak-willed in many ways, but he champions. He's the first president to champion abortion from the White House. He's the first president to champion uh, various forms of immorality. And also, by the way, Ahab also is going to be known for scandal as well. So that's a, but yes, he has someone with him. It's the first time in Israel's history that the Bible speaks about a, 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 a team, a king and queen, both engaging in this culture war. And so who's the other one? The other one is, of course, Jezebel. Mm -hmm. And so again, we've got to pray for everyone, but Jezebel. Jezebel, she come, she's the daughter of a pagan priestess. She actually, who worships Ashtoreth. This is that, that was her father, worship that. So she's, she's steeped in female power. She's worshiping that. She goes, she's from a cosmopolitan culture, but she moves to a 
conservative culture to be with her husband. Okay, that's where he's from. And she, but she maintains her identity. She will champion, she will see biblical traditional values as deep-seated religious beliefs as a, as a hindrance. She will war against them. She will also champion, she's the champion of Baal worship. And so her main cause is the offering up of children in the end. So what is the parallel? Well, it's very clear. Um, and that is that Bill Clinton was not alone. It was a team for the first time in American history. You had a, a president and a co, kind of a co-presidency. And you have her, she, she is, Hillary Clinton is a, uh, an advocate of uh, female power, advocate of abortion. Advocate, she literally religious said, deep-seated religious beliefs have to be changed. Biases. All right, so, so, so hang on. You're saying that the same way that it happened yes. with Israel, same yes. time frames, yes. in some prophetic sense yes. from God, is yeah. being lived out again, even, even to the same dates? Yeah, let me, let me give you an example. We'll do more of it. Let me give you an example. Uh, Bill Clinton, when did, he come to, when did he come on the national stage? Well, it was, he was elected as, as governor of Arkansas. He goes right from there. Later on, he becomes president. So, 79. So, when did he end? It was, at the, it was 2001. He is, his office is ended. He leaves the presidency. So, you have 1979 to 2001. How many years? It's 22 years. Open up the Bible. Open up the Bible to what it says. How long was, was Ahab? Ahab, the days of Ahab were 22 years. The same exact. All right. So, so you have Ahab with this Jezebel. Again, we're not yes, calling Hillary yeah. Clinton Jezebel. We're but praying for her. It's a template. There's it's a, a template. template. Right, right. Yeah. You're just making a, this clear. You've got to pray. It's a template. Right, right. But, but she, she brings in stuff with her, doesn't she? Well, well what, what does the Bible say about Jezebel? She go, and it's not saying that she knew what she was doing, that, that Hillary Clinton knew what she was doing. But Jezebel, it says, literally brought in priests and priests of the gods and goddesses into the palace, to the highest throne. You see that in the Bible. Well, could that happen? I mean, that'd be crazy. How, could, how, how would that happen with a White House? Would that, well, it actually happened. In the, in the Clinton years, what happens is the Clintons actually bring spiritual advisors, they're not biblical advisors, they're New Age advisors, to Camp David and to the White House. And literally, they have sessions, this is Hillary Clinton, has a, has a woman there who's called a high priestess who actually speaks of the goddesses. She had a goddess around her neck, uh, the image of a goddess around her neck. She actually, the, the worship of these goddesses in the time of Jezebel involved channeling, involved speaking to the dead. Actually, Se something like that. And actually, they had channeling in the White House. Hillary Clinton was actually speaking as someone who was not, who was not who was dead, and the actual, this woman actually spoke, she wrote a book about speaking to the gods and goddesses, and she actually mentions the god, the goddess of Jezebel in her book, and they actually had, had these sessions in the White House, so even this took place, wow. crazy, but it actually happened, according All right. to the paradigm. All right, friends, <laughs> we, we are just getting started. You won't believe what's coming next. <laughs> Right back to It's Supernatural. Call right now to get Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive package, which includes his brand new prophetic revelatory hardcover book, The Paradigm, plus his four-part audio CD revelation, The Paradigm Revealed, available only to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9513. It will give you your place uh, for what God has called you to for such a time as this. Through Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's book teaching, you will find out that there exists a 3,000 year old ancient master blueprint that holds the secret behind the end time events in these current times, including the rise and fall of leaders and governments in the world today. Learn that this ancient paradigm has determined not only the events of modern times, but also their timing, even down to the exact dates. Understand how God is sending us a prophetic warning, critical for every person in this generation. Jonathan Kahn's four part exclusive audio CD teaching concerns the future of America, Israel, and the world. It concerns you. It concerns your loved ones. It concerns salvation. It concerns precise, specific signs given for such a time as this. You will clearly find out about the final revelations and things to come. Jonathan shares with you what the future holds and where we are on God's prophetic timetable. Understand the Elijah paradigm, which gives the key for believers how to live, how to stand, and how to overcome at such a time as this. If you had the paradigm years back, you could actually know the outcome of presidential elections before they happen. It actually reveals, this is from thousands of years ago, Osama bin Laden, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, and this is so precise that we have to be prepared. Biblically, in the Old Testament, God would raise up a Jewish prophet. I believe Rabbi Jonathan Kahn has been raised up by God 
for this moment in history. Time is short. Don't delay in getting Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive package, which includes his brand new prophetic revelatory hardcover book, The Paradigm, plus his four-part audio CD revelation, The Paradigm Revealed, available only to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9513. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9513 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Welcome back, friends. I am here with my guest, Jonathan Kahn. All right, this, this is kind of mind blowing stuff. And obviously, mm-hmm. you're reading the word mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. starting to jump off mm-hmm. the page. It's like, wow, mm-hmm. it's, we've seen this before. Could it be happening again? So mm-hmm. let, let's keep going. Where, yeah. where, where are things after Bill Clinton? Yeah, well, if, where, well, a few things. First of all, there, there, in the book, in the paradigm, there's something called the nemesis. Now, here's something that happens in the paradigm, in the ancient one, and what's happening now. And in the time of that king, Ahab, comes a nemesis, an arch enemy of Israel. He rises up and he threatens Israel. He threatens to invade it. He actually will invade it. He becomes, and so he, 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 in the time of Ahab, Ahab actually has a chance to, to eliminate this man, and he, ref- he doesn't do it, and God actually judges him. What happens, and this man, this enemy, is going to bring destruction to the land. Okay, could this happen actually now? Well, here's the paradigm, that in the, t- in the days of that king, that's Clinton, will arise a nemesis, an enemy of the nation. Well, he arises from the Middle East, in, according to the paradigm, uh, in, and his name is Osama bin Laden. He rises in this time. He threatens America. Clinton actually has a chance to take him out. Now, it's not judging the thing, but just like Ahab did, but he, he, he passes on it. It will end up bringing destruction to America, and that happens there. In the, in the paradigm, the man's name, the, the, his name is a kind of a hyphenated name. It's Ben-Hadad. Well, that first name in Arabic, B-N or, or Hebrew, it's just B-N. Yeah, the, yeah. The, ben, it's ben, ben, same it, thing. Ben or Bin. It's a say, it even gives the parameter of his name. Bin Laden has the, they share the same first part. The thing is, cal- calamity comes on the, on the land, but then remember how long it took to get Bin Laden, it took many years, they thought they would get him. You know, they, but what happened, according to the paradigm, it, here's what happens. It gives, it actually says he will be assassinated, according to the paradigm. It says, according to the paradigm, he will be assassinated in his bedroom. It, while he's sleeping, they will come in and he will be assassinated in his bedroom. So Bin Laden was, so this ancient nemesis was. And it actually, according to the paradigm, it says he will be assassinated 10 years after the calamity. Go 10 years, it brings you to 2011, the assassination of Bin Laden. In the, the life of Ahab, yes, there's yes. a scandal with, with a man named Navot in Hebrew, and Naboth. Yes. What happened? Yes, well, just to give a brief thing, it, you know, it involves Ahab and Jezebel. They take the, the vineyard of this man. They kill him. They have a false witness. He breaks about, like, maybe half of the Ten Commandments yeah. almost to do this, you know, uh, coveting and, and false witness. Well, it's a scandal. So it's not just that there's apostasy. There's scandal. Well, the Clinton years were also known, obviously, for scandal. And there's, there was a major, the major scandal happened, involved, involved also coveting, also false witness and many things like that. And so when did it happen? According to the paradigm, it happens in the 19th year of Ahab. Okay, that's when it happens. So let's take what we had before. Ahab, the, Clinton comes on the stage, 1979. Add 19 years, it brings you to the year 1998. That is the year of the Lewinsky scandal, the great scandal of his presidency. In fact, he came he came on the stage January 1998. Add 19 add, add, the, add the 19 years, it comes to January. January 1998 pinpoints the month that the scandal breaks. What is the mystery? of days. Okay. All right. Here's the thing. There's a lot of things that we only, of course, we only have a chance to to touch on things, touch on things, but just to give you an example here, when the scandal is uncovered of Ahab and he's rebuked by Elijah, okay, he actually repents. The Bible says he repented. And so God says, okay, I'm not going to bring judgment right now. I'm going to give a certain space of time. How long was that time? It was three years. Okay. So first thing, did, could an American president actually repent publicly? Well, it's only happened really once where someone totally, it was actually Bill Clinton. And finally he repented of that affair. Now, he did. when did that happen? It happened in the White House, happened at the White House prayer breakfast, where he finally says, listen, I didn't repent before. This is my repentance. I have sinned. It happens in there. So let's take the paradigm. The paradigm says, three. if you go in the Bible, three years after the king's repentance, there will be a calamity that comes on the land. Okay? The, you can see it in the Bible. So three years after. So if you take the, the moment of his repentance, add three years to it, it brings you to an exact day. It brings you to September 11th, 2001. 
the exact day of the calamity. In fact, he repented in the morning. You take three years to the day in the morning. It happens in the morning. That event started at 8.30. That pinpoints the hour of 9-11. It happened at 8.46. And it, the, the repentance of the king happens between 9 and, between nine and 10. That's the peak of 9-11. The, the event ended at 10.30. The 9-11 ended when the last tower came down at 10.29 within one minute of three years. That's how exact this is, Mike. This is the master blueprint. All right, what, what happens to the queen. We know Jezebel largely yes. responsible. So in our yes. template parallel here, yes. the, the queen yes. and what, what about happened? the heir? Yeah, people think that, you know, you know, Ahab, you know, got killed and then then Jezebel gets judged. No. Jezebel, the, this is what happens. The king's reign ends, but Jezebel goes on in the halls of power. She remains in the halls of power for she she dwells in the capital city. She keeps going. She's for some for a, a good period of time. We actually even that time period is going to be exact too. So she goes on and then and then and at one point we know Hillary Clinton what happened with her. She goes on. She stays in, in power. She stays in the halls of power, and then she attempts to be to be president. Well, according to the paradigm, at least during this time, she doesn't she doesn't become president. But what happens is what happens is this: another someone else becomes a, a man who's a lot younger than her, or quite younger in the paradigm, becomes president. Joram. Joram opens up the next the next template, and that is Obama. So he's the heir. He's the heir because he he's not related by flesh and blood, but he he follows in the footsteps. He he takes the 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 agenda of Bill Clinton. And he continues it into this. He's the political heir of that. Now, now, Joram dwells in the palace with the former queen. So exactly even that, he invites Hillary Clinton. They dwell together in that time. What you see with him, he's a cooler personality. Ahab is kind of more all over the place. But he is. But what you see is a hostility to God, a continuous hostility to God in that. And that's what you see as well in the Obama years. But also interesting, when I, I mentioned that the the nemesis is killed later on. Well, he's killed in the reign. of of Joram. That's it means during Obama, the paradigm would say during Obama, during that time, Osama bin Laden will be killed. And actually, Jezebel and Joram are in the White House. So Obama and Hillary Clinton are in the White House when, when he's killed. All right. Could it be that this paradigm actually predicts President Trump and what's happening? Yes. That's where we're going next. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network is not just another Christian TV network. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. ISN lets me watch my favorite shows anytime I want. These exclusive programs are life-changing. Multitudes report getting healed and having their prayers answered. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. We know in Scripture that we can see as things happen in Israel, they're, they're happening in America, mm -hmm. or there's a template mm -hmm. when God yes. brings judgment. Yes. But, but you're saying that, that studying the Scriptures, studying the, the, the ancient historical books of Israel, you discovered that, boy, these parallels are, are striking, and could it even lay things out? in advance that we were looking at it and this is what's coming next. So yeah. we, we know our history, we know the mm -hmm. problems we've had with, with our administrations and, and, and now we see someone emerging, yeah. someone unexpected and, and in, in the paradigm you talk about the warrior. Yeah. Well, who's the warrior? So you have the house of Ahab. If it stays in power, it's going to seal the apostasy. So God, something happens. Uh, some, it's going to be a showdown. Someone rises up in the in the in the book in the paradigm. It's called. He's called the warrior, and that is. So he's not just like a kind of quiet. No, no, not matter. quiet at all. No, 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 not quiet at all by any stretch. A peacemaker. Of that. He is kind of. He, no. he is no, no. He is a warrior. He's not even a politician he, in, in the paradigm. In the paradigm, he's a, he's a warrior. He's he's a fighter. He fights with everybody. Okay, in the paradigm, his name is Jehu. Uh -huh. Okay. He, he, he's zealous, he, very he, zealous. He, he's very zealous. Some rough edges. He, he is not gentle at all. He is coarse. He's he's a fighter. He's fighting everybody, and he begins this race to a, the throne. You read read the he he's he, he actually begins a race to the throne, and the Bible describes the race describes the race as the word is crazy. It said it was crazy. He drives crazy. Yeah. The man drives furiously. It's crazy, but he gets to the throne. Even though it's a crazy race, he gets to the throne. And, and, and he has a certain zeal for the things of God. Yeah, knowledge. he has a zeal. He's crazy zeal. But but he's used by God. I mean, he's the most unlikely person. You can't even the, the, the commentaries can't even agree if he's saved or not. But he's being used of God. And so what happens is what I'll, I'll just I can we can only touch on some things. But but he ends up in a show to show a, 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 a showdown against the former queen. So you have the former queen 
and you had Hillary Clinton, you have the warrior, you have Donald Trump. Okay, you have a, and so now here's the thing, Michael. Here's what I said. I said if you knew the paradigm before these things, and if you, I knew the paradigm, we, I didn't even know. If we knew it, you could have actually foretold all this. All the polls were saying Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. The paradigm was saying no. And, and there, were, there were prophetic words about Donald yeah. Trump being like a divine wrecking ball, or some yeah. call them yeah. God's chaos candidate, yeah. but that's like a Jehu. That's Jehu. That's exactly Jehu. It's exactly everything, everything, Michael. So the thing is, the paradigm was saying no. When the, when the warrior meets the former queen, it, the, the warrior will defeat the former queen. It will be a downfall. That's exactly what happens. And there's so much, there are details to this too. But so she, so, so he wins. He now heads to the capital city. Jehu heads to the capital city. Now, why does he head to the capital city? This is to drain the swamp. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. He, he, he abso I mean, I'm not, this is not, it's not political here. So the thing is that, but, but, and Jehu specifically is ending Baal worship, which is what? Is the, is the, the offering up of children. So even Trump puts as his agenda, we want to dismantle this, mm. which leads to the, which leads to the next thing. And that is that when he goes there, he actually destroys the temple of Baal in, in the capital All right. city. All right. Now the temple of Baal was built by Ahab. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, so what he starts dismantling the system of killing children. Well, that has been the, one of the first things Trump did was sign the executive orders to start dis, to try to dismantle it. But interesting here, now that beyond this, could there be another sign? Well, the thing is that when Jehu rises, when he goes to the capital, the Temple of Baal falls. So here's the paradigm. When the warrior rises, the Temple of Baal falls. Could there actually be a Temple of Baal in the world? Well, there is. There was a Temple of Baal that stood for 2,000 years in the Middle East. It's, it, it survived everything. But, a, but when, Trump, when Trump rose, the Temple of Baal in the Middle East fell, was destroyed. Mm. It was destroyed. Right. And it happened, it happened in 2015, you can check it out, happened in the summer just after Trump announces his rise, it falls, even that, even that. And here's another thing, Michael. You know, I said that all the, all the parameters are there. Well, let's take the, the days of the, in the book, there's something called the days of the queen. So, yeah. just, so, so how long does, does Jezebel, how long is it there? Well, how long is Hillary Clinton? She was the first lady of Arkansas to the first lady of America. Her rise to her, with her husband was 22 years. Right. Okay. Then how long does she go on? She goes on for 12 years. She's, she's senator and she's secretary of state. Then she retires from public life for two years, if you read all that. Then she comes back for two years to campaign for presidency. Well, that comes out to 14 years. So you have, you have 22 years, you have 14 years. Look up Jezebel and put it together. Jezebel was with her husband reigning for 22 years. She went on for how long? 14 years. Mm. The exact same thing. The exact same. All right. So what is coming next? And as you understand this paradigm, do we have hope for the future. Okay. Uh, okay. First, look, yeah. In the paradigm, there's something called about the days to come. Actually, the paradigm actually actually converges with the harbingers because it's the same setting. Um, the first thing is what's happened is now is this is a window. According to the paradigm, this is a window like a reprieve where we 